having such a lovely week. I am so excited for today. We are gonna have the nicest day. Today we are heading into London and doing some shopping and spending the day with my mum. I truly do not know the last time I went like out shopping in real shops, not buying things online and just had a lovely day doing that, getting coffees, getting lunch and just soaking up the city. I know I've moved to the country, not the countryside, but I know I've moved further out into the suburbs and 100% nature and the country feeds my soul in a very special way. There's a lot of me that's still a city girl at heart and I just love the energy and the buzz and the vibe you get from a city, especially on a gloriously sunny day. I'm obviously very biased, but I think there is nowhere more just spectacular than London in the sunshine. So I need to finish up getting ready and then we're gonna head out the door. But I wanted to show you quickly before I go a few things that whilst I've been getting ready, I thought I have to tell you guys about this. One, this lip gloss that I'm wearing today, obsessed. It's so nice. I don't think I've shown it to you before. It is the Hourglass, Mm, don't know, I'll link it. The Hourglass something or other, but it's like this balmy thing that you twist up and, and it's so hydrating and so nice. Hopefully that's focused okay. This is in colour Slip and I just think it's like the nicest shade for me. I absolutely love it. I might have to buy a few others in other colours while I'm out treating myself today. I also want to share that I've 100% confirmed my favourite plain white t-shirt. It is the one. Let me show you. It's one of those things that once you've found the perfect plain white t-shirt, you just can't gatekeep it. And I've tried so many different types from so many different brands. And this one from Cos is my absolute favourite. I've just bought an extra two. It's like heavyweight, loose. The fit is like, it's not crazy baggy. It's not fitted. It just, it's the perfect fitting plain white t-shirt. I'm wearing one of them under my jumper today and I'm just obsessed. So if you want like a really good quality plain white t-shirt, this one from Cos, I'll link it as well, it's so good. And then the last thing I wanted to show you before we head downstairs is I'm trying to do a load of jeans shopping and I haven't got these quite right yet because I've got the wrong length, but I'm gonna link these jeans for you because sometimes when Abercrombie come out with a new jean shape, they sell out of stock really quickly and I don't want you to miss them before I can actually show you them properly. So if you're looking for like a loose leg, like baggy, but really flattering jean, I think these ones are insane. What are they called? The high rise, the wide leg. I get mine in the curve love, but I think actually when I get them in the curve love, I then need to size down a bit. So I got them in two colors and neither fit quite right. What I will say about these is that sometimes I buy things from Abercrombie, like the Sloan pant in the long and the long is really long. So I think I'm 5'7 and the long, like the trout, they're just, they're way too long. I need to get a different size. So I'd say only get the long if you're, I don't know, maybe 5'9 and above because these ones are, yeah very long and then if you're like much shorter than me definitely get the petite like short version but yeah i can't show you them on because they don't really fit me but they are so nice and i am running to get myself a size that actually fit but yeah i wanted to let you know in case you wanted to grab them before they sell out okay right oh gosh i'm dropping things everywhere right i need to finish my cup of tea head downstairs and then get out the house. You can probably see how much of an absolute state this bedroom is in. I've also made the executive decision today that we are switching from coats to jackets because the weather is glorious. Temperature is probably a bit lower than it should be for me to be acting like it's spring. I figured if I've got like, this is one of my Abercrombie roll necks and it's just the comfiest, warmest thing ever. So I feel like I can wear a jacket. And then this is one of my, let me see if I stand back if you can see me properly. This is one of my favourite jackets from And Other Stories. I love it. I think they're still doing it this season as well. I think I saw it and I bought this, was it last year or the year before? I think it was only last year that I bought it, but I love it. So a good jacket recommendation as well if you're after a jacket. Right, let's head downstairs and then let's get ready to head out of the house. Okay, I think we are literally almost ready to go. Today we definitely need sunglasses, which is so exciting. Then I just need to get my bag sorted. I love this bag, it just fits so much stuff in it. I need to make sure I've got all my entertainment for the train. I've got my Kindle and my headphones because honestly, I am feeling so good at the moment with my balance of how I'm consuming fiction and non-fiction content, which is why I actually wanted to talk to you again about Blinkist. Now, if you haven't heard me talk about Blinkist before, Blinkist is enabling me to understand the most important points from over 6,500 non-fiction books and podcasts. Basically, Blinkist produces blinks or breakdowns of some of the non-fiction books I've been most excited to read so that I can digest my non-fiction content in very 
easy to understand and simple terms and it is making my life and my synergy between non-fiction and fiction content so divine so like right now i'm going to put my headphones in and listen to blinkist for a bit whilst i walk to the train because my walk to the train station is about 15 minutes and most of the books are summarized in about 15 minutes which is perfect and then i've got my kindle where i can enjoy my fiction books but for me non-fiction is something that i really want to get the value out of it as quickly and efficiently as possible so i was just having a bit of a look earlier and having a scroll through what I think I want to listen to on my way to the train today and I saw this book which I've never heard of before called Tiny Habits, Tiny Small Changes That Change Everything by BJ Fogg. I have never heard of this book before but it sounds right up my street. So this book, Tiny Habits, is a meditation on the virtues of not biting off more than you can chew. If you saw my last vlog, you know that we bit off a bit more than we could chew at the beginning of the year and we didn't realise that we needed as much rest as we think we did and we need to take smaller steps to make our goals a little bit more achievable. So this sounds so in line with that. And then it splits it into a number of key blinks. So the blinks for this are creating a positive change can be easy, but it requires a new approach. If you want meaningful long-term change, start small. Three key variables drive human behaviour, motivation, ability and prompts. Motivation might suffice for one-off feats but it's not enough for sustained change. I talk about this so much, oh my gosh, okay I'm so excited to dive into this one. I'm going to be reading Tiny Habits. Let me know if you've read it or listened to it on Blinkist and if you're going to listen to it on Blinkist as well, let me know in the comments. The other really cool thing about Blinkist, which I'm loving, because you guys know I'm trying to be more organised with my whole life at the moment, is they have this feature called Blinkist Spaces. And within Spaces, you can basically organise your catalogue of books or podcasts that you want to listen to into basically mini folders. So these spaces, I have got two main spaces that I like to maintain, mindfulness and productivity and professional development. So anything that's associated with my nine to five job that I think is useful for my work in change management, I save in my professional development one. And then basically all the other stuff that is just trying to get me to be the best version of me goes into mindfulness and productivity. And the really cool thing about spaces is that you can actually share your spaces with other people. So if you've got friends or families or a partner that also has Blinkist, you can share the books in there so you can kind of group them and add books that you think the other person would really like to listen to or read as well which I think is such a lovely sociable feature of the app. So that is my plan for my journey today. So if you don't have Blinkist yet and you want to give it a go then they have very kindly given me an offer to share with you guys. You follow the link in the description or follow the link on the screen then you'll get 25% off Blinkist Premium and you'll also get a seven day free trial. So you can give it a go, test it out for free for seven days but I am confident that you'll love it because yeah it's just it's just not my vibe to sit through a non-fiction book and read it cover to cover. That's more my fiction vibe and for non-fiction stuff I just want, I want the info, I want the learnings, I want to be improving my life as quickly as possible. So, so definitely let me know if you give it a try. But as always thank you very much to Blinkist for sponsoring this part of the video. Right it's time to get out of the house, get on the train, meet my mum. I'm meeting my mum at Waterloo so I'm on a slow train. She gets to go on a quick train, lucky her. She's got much more connectivity from where she lives and we're going to meet Waterloo and then go for a day of shopping and I'm so excited. Right let's get out the door.
just like that, I am back home. Oh, that was such a nice day. Although I'm actually feeling pretty knackered. I forgot how much like a long day of shopping in London just totally takes out of you. So I even had a tea on my way home at like 5 p.m., which I'm gonna regret that later, I know. I really do not have caffeine after like lunchtime, even if it's a tea, because it just keeps me up. But I was on the train home, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna fall asleep on this train. But anyway, we're back and I wanna show you what I got. It really is not much of a haul, it's like one thing, pretty much but it's so nice, it's so cute. Please excuse the mess of this room. I need to do a full tidy of this room tonight before I'm able to even get into bed. But I wanted to show you what I got because I love it so much. Okay, so first things first is Suzanne, which I just love Suzanne so much. Like they can almost do no wrong. Like that's quite a bold statement to make, but like they can honestly almost do no wrong. And it feels like, Christmas opening my presents I got the loveliest cardigan I don't know if I needed another cardigan but I am seeing this as a little bit like in the last vlog when I talked about you know my flowery one from Zara that's starting to feel a little bit tired I feel like this is gonna be its like sister it's not exactly the same but I think it can kind of do the same job so this is her I don't know how well you can see the like lace detailing down the front and like the slightly like pearled buttons but I honestly she is so pretty and what is even nicer about her is that I'll have to show this on in another vlog you can wear her back to front so then this is like the back and they show you that in the pictures on the website and it looks really, really lovely. And it, you'd think it'd look a bit weird, but I actually don't think it does. I think it's so nice. So I can literally wear it both ways round. And where they put the um, label is like down the side so that you can wear it either way around. Anyway, bought this cardigan. I love her. It's also got this like cuffed sleeve, which I just think like a cuffed tight sleeve here is just such a elegant, chic fat like function I just think when clothes do sleeves nicely when they pay attention to the detail of a sleeve I think it makes all the difference so yeah absolutely love her I'm literally so excited to wear her because I think because she's like slightly laced or she's not actual lace but you know she's got this like detailing on her and like the scalloped edge I think it will look so nice over dresses and like obviously today I'm wearing jeans and I tried her on the shop in jeans and yeah so nice anyway so love the cardigan and then also went into Varley this bag is deceptively big for the two tiny things that are in here, but this was the only size bag they had. I have never been into a Varley properly before. Like I've seen them online so much, but never bought anything from there and never been into an actual shop. And oh my gosh, were the fabrics in there. Honestly, some of the softest things I've ever felt like crazy crazy soft i am so tempted i really don't need any it's all kind of like jumpers that you'd wear on the way to the gym or like post yoga post pilates kind of go out to brunch afterwards just like really elevated active wear that's what it felt like in there and i don't really need any of that stuff right now but the minute that that comes onto my radar again that i want that kind of thing i'm going straight to there because those fabrics so the softest thing i've ever felt they also had these like shorts that were like lounge shorts slash like shorts that you could wear like on the beach on holiday just kind of like really casual really simple shorts that were so soft that those I could be tempted to buy sooner because yeah I've got holidays not now but in the summer I might come back around for them anyway the two things I did buy from there which are so small are these like cozy socks I just thought that this brown colour it's like a light this like light brown caramel colour with the creamy white stripes I just I just thought they were really nice I just love these colours so much I love the tones in them and they're really soft and I get such cold feet so I just bought myself a pair of these couldn't help myself and then the second thing I bought was a cap I told you they were small but I love Varley logo, I think it's so nice. And I've wanted a black cap for ages because I always wear a cap when I go running because the moment I keep ending up running in the rain, I don't want to run in the rain. I say to myself, I'm never gonna run in the rain, but at the moment it's just, it's coming out of nowhere in the UK. So I leave the house and think it's fine. And then it pours with rain. And obviously then in the sun and the summer, I need a cap as well, but I find it protects me from the rain. So it's not like all getting in my eyes. And all my gym kit pretty much is black. And so I just wanted a cap I could wear because the only, I've only got one cap for we're running and it's like a white creamy color which is just not very practical for like getting grubby and sweaty and all the rest of it so so i got myself this black one and i love it it's like a towel material as well which i've no idea but i feel like that should be good at being a bit like sweat wicking you know so that 
is my shopping haul from an entire day in London. But I do try and be really selective when I go shopping. And I feel like in general that ethos serves me pretty well. It means that like I genuinely really love the things that I buy. The other thing that I did get though, not a purchase, but still a very useful trip was went into our on ball and picked up a colour chart. So we've got two different colour charts, their new special edition colour chart thing and their like classic one because it is time. We are not gonna kick it off yet. I'm probably gonna be another couple of vlogs, I don't know. But soon we're gonna be kicking off more of a proper home renovation series because we moved in, as you guys know, if you were here, if you've been here since the moving vlogs, if you haven't, then go back and watch them. But we moved in and we, we were so lucky the house has been in such an incredible state for us to move into that we've basically just left everything as it was. We bought a couple of furniture pieces, but broadly speaking, we've left everything. And partly that was because everything was nice. And partly that was because financially, we just wanted to make sure that we had spare cash reserves to let ourselves adjust to the higher bills and the higher mortgage that we're now paying being in a bigger property and not risk just feeling uncomfortable draining our reserves too much on doing renovation -y stuff but now we're ready to start making this place like truly ours and there's quite a few things we want to do like i want to completely overhaul the dining room area that space at the moment just feels so underutilized we want a new dining table and chairs and we want some like some nice cabinetry in there and at the moment we just like pile up all of our recycling in there like it's just not well used that space the living room i've talked about this a few times just lacks so much color and depth and it's time to paint it something fun and yeah i'm not going to talk to you about all of the living room plans because i've got quite a few and i'm very excited about them but i want to hone my vision before I let you guys know what it is. And then the second bedroom as well, our spare room, which has been without a bed for so long. Finally, we're getting the bed from my old flat transferred across here, not for like another month, but basically the beginning of May, we're gonna have the bed. So before the bed comes, I want to get that room painted and I'm gonna hopefully go for quite a fun color for the second bedroom, because if there's ever a place to just be a bit more experimental, it's in a guest room. And we're gonna get some new cabinetry in there as well for the wardrobes and, I'm just really excited to redesign that room. We've also got some Ikea furniture in there, like an Ikea chest of drawers thing, which was like always just meant to be temporary. It's time to get rid of that. Yeah, we've got some good stuff coming. And then outdoors as well. Obviously, as we get closer to the warmer weather, I wanna do a big outdoor furniture haul to make the outdoor space just feel like super comfy and livable so that we can just spend as much time outside as we possibly can. So yeah, how stuff is coming. I'll probably kick off like an entire home series of videos and Cameron and I have decided that we feel like our savings are replenished enough from the move that we can start making some bigger purchases to improve some things. And then we've also got some like probably very boring but quite significant costs that we need to do like all of the windows in this property are really bad so we're going to need to replace all the windows like all the condensation that pours in we're starting to get like little bits of mold uh like at the bottom of our window sills where the damp and the condensation is bad on a couple of the windows so we're having to like constantly wipe that so our windows are bad quality we're not going to replace those immediately because I think we're just gonna wait until summer's over and then when we head back towards the bad weather, we'll fix that. But, but anyway, I've had such a nice day out and I'm now gonna have such a lovely evening in. It is time to get my pajamas on, head downstairs and light a candle or two and kick off my evening. Oh, I'm just living for the weekends at the moment, guys. They're just, ooh, loving it.